Hi friends, good morning. This is the daily collective reading for um, August 8th of 2022. And today is the opening a big portal, big energy of the Leo's Gate um, energy. And Leo's Gate happening when the Sirius star, the sun and the earth is, is on alignment. And for those who um going to just see the f one minute video, today we will talk about what kind of action that um, will help us to anchor this big energy in earth and help us to see the truth. And we're working with the new archetype, two archetypes coming out because it's, it's big energy day. <laughs> So see you later, uh, one minute videos uh, with the comments and the message. Okay, bye. And for those who are staying in the longer video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Today we will see the two energy first, the oracle cards, which one is coming. And what coming is the independence number 11 card with the moon in Aquarius. And number 62, the lonely journey of the priestess. So what I I was asking the Father Sirius a star, what does he want to say um, today with the big portal energy? And with these two uh, with these two oracle cards coming out, especially with the first one, it seems like um, there's something uh, within within the egyptian mythology this is all old old world um old world energies that came out you know with this this is the it said is the stone age but um it's probably is avebury and this is a calendar of the sun and moon rotation and this card also a card of the astrologer so probably uh, some of you who watch this video or have interest in astrology as well or living your life according to the move of the star and the moon and the sun and there is some truth that would be revealed to you um, in your interest and I asked again as well to Father Sirius Star, um, what is this between white and black, this kind of energy that this kind of energy that we need to bridge with this uh, big portal? And this card came out. It says the lonely journey of the priestess. So basically, it seems to me it's read like. Um, you know, this card Alethea is supposed to be like this by the artist. It's um, it's seen like this, but when it, when it come out on the shuffle, it came out like this, um, on tilted on one side, one um, ninety degree axis, and if you see um, the previous long video, I said uh, right now. Um, there's a period of we're seeing the truth distorted and also we want to change the truth from a square size to trapezium size so it seems like it's related you know and with this roses as above so below it's also related with this card the, the lonely journey of the priestess because if you see a rose the way it's unfolded is one petal at a time and it's not it's suddenly opening up at once so it feels to me like between to find the truth between black and white is how you walk it you know you walk on a very windy road and most of the time um, you don't have mates in this um, in this journey you know you have to walk your path alone and this figure here to me it's the same figure so maybe there's um the goddess of uh, from from egyptian myth that you can 
that you can embrace the mythology from here and you can take the wisdom from it um, to uh, to help you with this journey to see your truth you know and also this lead and gold wisdom from base metal to gold normally it goes ascendant from base down to up but now it seems like it goes from right to left side and it also feels to me um, it came about what we known as truth before in the old world probably pre-covid era is actually not the truth anymore not the gold anymore and we need to change that notion um, by walking the path and seek for our own truth you know um yeah and with the wisdom of the old world we don't need to um afraid of this old world maybe it can feel very overwhelming but a lot of people who's coming here to see these videos have this truth inside of you innate of you okay so it feels to me that today the lion gate portal energy is something that to see the innate truth inside of you that reside for a very long time okay and how what is the mechanism uh, and how are we going to do that so i pull up the four tarot cards it's strength confirmed by the pillar which is the uh, the high priestess in this deck the weaver tarot ascendant edition deck and also followed by the two of wands confirmed by the chariot so we see that so many moons in here moon figures and it seems to me this is the mechanism that we're doing you know so because the serious star is also being called as the sun behind the sun and it's the sun of our um, psychology of our psyche because our sun is is this is this um illumination for our physical body is the life force of our physical body and the serious star is the sun for our psyche you know is the life force of our psyche so in today reading is very important we see the psychology and uh, the psyche of our mind with the 77 of the alicia followed by number seven of the poet it means that is the angel number 777 which means is divine guidance you know today is to seek of the divine guidance of your truth and it is like the strength confirming by the uh, high priestess meaning that um, probably your intuition um, your strength is coming from your intuition that's what i mean because if you see the way it's done again this trapezium you know it's uh the silver and black and this is black and silver so this is the strength of your um intuition to seek from this is like this serious star the sun i mean this is a star but i mean i i said it of course it's the is the sun behind the sun and it's confirming by the intuition so that is the strength that we can embrace today and probably for for the rest of the year actually and for for us to pay attention of the cycle of the moon and this, this cycle of the moon will help the unfolding of the rose the truth that we seek okay so pay attention of the cycle of the moon for the rest of the year um and it's also it's for the action we are given the the two of wands 
uh, confirmed by the chariot so basically with the two of wands is like yes we have the divine guidance with this uh, three number seven and we have the strength and we have the intuition we pay attention to the flow of the moon cycle but then what is the action uh, how we can um how we can make it work in our 3d world with this divine guidance with the two of wands is really to take action you know it's moving from this sun to this sun from the series from our psychological life force into our physical life force it's probably we start to get healthy again with um, with sports and then we start to write down our list on what to do make it poetic as well put a lot of fun a lot of um, research ch chatting about with the poet uh, archetypal energy look around don't just stay in one place and accept it as a truth if you want to change the truth from from descendant to ascendance to you know to make it like the gold and the lead is actually in the same balance we just need to find a way to across it that means you need to to seek for a lot of ways how to do it you know which one is working for you there's a lot of research research being need to be done here um and with the chariot of course you know without the chariot without the drive to do your work you cannot change one way of seeing things like one way of seeing things from this is a square and this is a square too but it's a different kind of square for certain people you know so how to make people think that this is the same square so this is our work today okay so for for our friends that's seeing this today please let me know if this resonates thank you so much for staying with the um the channel especially for today i know um, it can be overwhelming there's a lot of things to do today um if if you're working with the, the stars energy so i really appreciate you watching this channel please like and subscribe um, leave comments if you will what is take what resonance leave behind what doesn't resonance for you thank you so much again and see you tomorrow bye